Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has very notably been MIA as COVID-19 ravages his state once again. But now he's back and the speculation, I guess, is over until he held a press conference today and he looked like death. I don't know how else to describe it. I don't know if his voice was shaky because he was holding back tears. I don't know if he was sick, but either way, take a look. Brad Ferguson, Senior VP and General Manager, Skywater, Florida, and Dale Miller, Site Director, uh, Skywater, Florida, um, as well as Representative Fred Hawkins. Manufacturing is something that we need to do better job of. And uh, we've worked really hard in Florida to have um, more opportunities with vocational education. We have expanded our manufacturing footprint in the state of Florida, and we want to continue to be able to do that uh, as we go forward. Semiconductors are a huge issue. If you look at how the supply chain works, we are overly dependent on foreign nations including Taiwan, which is a good ally of ours, but which is one that, excuse me, which is one that is under really serious pressure from the Communist Party of China. And so we have an opportunity to do more here in the United States. And I think the more we can do manufacturing of semiconductors here, the better off we'll be. So today, I'm proud to be awarding. I don't know what to say, but he looked really, really bad. I mean, the way he was speaking, you would think that he's trying to contain himself like he's holding back tears or possibly he's trying to hold back a cough also. I mean, this makes me think that maybe when he was missing, he had COVID-19. Either way, he sounded horrible, which is, uh, is interesting. Now, according to Fox News, take it with a grain of salt, they reached out to the DeSantis team and a spokesperson got back and said when he was missing, it wasn't because he had COVID or anything like that, which some people suspected. It was because he has a wife with cancer and he was being there for her. So they report Florida Republican Governor Ron DeSantis accompanied his wife to her cancer treatment while critics were accusing the governor of taking a vacation as coronavirus cases spiked, Fox News has learned. A DeSantis spokesperson said the governor accompanied wife Casey to cancer treatment December 29th, the day several left-wing critics critics accused the governor of missing. DeSantis announced in October that his wife had been diagnosed with breast cancer, telling Fox News at the time that as the mother of three young children, Casey is the centerpiece of our family and has made an impact on the lives of countless Floridians through her initiatives as First Lady. So it could be that he's genuinely distraught because his wife is dealing with this because, I mean, that would that would be cer certainly something that's traumatizing, but also it appears that maybe he has COVID. I mean, there's really no sense in speculating, but this is certainly worth noting. Like, usually politicians, they will hide until they're, they're ready to come out and be presentable to the public. But here, I mean, he obviously felt like he had no choice but to kind of come back and be in the spotlight. And it's just, you usually don't see this. So, you know, it's it's worth noting, not really a point to this video, no substance here, just, wow, Ron Death Santis is kind of living up to the name because he, he looks like death. Don't know what happened. There's there's no, you know, um, reports about if he did have COVID or, or why he sounds like he's on the verge of tears. No clue. But it's obvious something is going on there. Something's not right.